Okay, here's another example of genetics problems where we're going to bend the rules slightly. Up to this point, all of the traits that we've studied all had one gene. And one gene had two alleles. Okay, this example of multiple alleles is still just one gene, one trait, but it's going to be controlled by three alleles. So we're used to having two letters in our problems, maybe a big B and a little b, or a big R and a big W, but in multiple allele problems we will have three. The most common type of multiple allele, and in fact probably the only one we'll see in this class, is blood types. And in this case, blood typing has one trait, one gene for blood type, but three alleles. You can have an A, a B, or an O allele. So if you think about the combinations, you could have one, two, three, four, five, six different genotypes. These are all of the genotypes. The rule is that A and B are co-dominant. Neither is dominant over the other, but O is always recessive. So with those six genotypes, you can actually get four phenotypes. These are my blood types. These are my phenotypes here. Big A, big A, and big A, O will both give me A blood. B, B, or B, O will both give me B blood. A, B gives me a unique blood type called A, B, because neither is dominant over the other, and both recessives give me O. Now, we'll come back later in the year and talk more about what these pictures mean. The type of blood that you have means that you have different proteins on the surface of your blood, and this has to do with why certain people can get transfusions from one person or another. Your body really doesn't like any foreign invaders. So just very quickly, if someone with A blood is giving their blood to someone with B blood, you can see that those proteins are incompatible and it doesn't work. You can't donate to anybody. But we'll come back to that later. For right now, we're just going to be interested in the genetic patterns of these traits. So let's try a sample problem. What are the possible blood types in children with parents having A blood and O blood? Now, these problems get pretty tricky because A blood can be AA or AO, and B blood can be BB or BO. So when we have those options, we're going to employ that blank that we've used in some of our problems. So we're going to consider the A parent to be this and the B parent to be this, because we know that the A parent must have an A and the B parent must have a B, but we don't know what the second allele would be. So when we have our Punnett square, we'll leave those blanks on there and fill in. So these parents could have asks for the blood types. They could have AB children. If this was an O, they could have A blood type children. If this was an O, they could have B blood type children. And if these were both O's, they could have O blood type children. So these parents can actually have all four blood types. Let's try another one. Show how a father with type AB blood could have one daughter with blood type A and another with blood type B. What must be the genotype of the mother? What must be the genotypes of the daughters? So the father is AB, the mother is unknown, and their children are A and B. Again, we're not sure if they're homozygous dominant or heterozygous. Notice for these problems I'm not writing a key because the blood typing patterns are always the same. So it's kind of nice we can skip those in these problems. Okay, so let's put this on a Punnett square. The father is AB, the mother is unknown, and I have to be able to get A and B children. The first thought that comes to mind is the mother could probably be O, because then if I put O's in, I could have A children or O children. But I want to check it out and see if I can get any more combinations. So it says that we're just finding the genotype of the mother. It doesn't give us any other information. So the mother could be anything. So let's try an A here. If I try an A here, I still get A and I get B daughters. So that would still work. But what if I make this an A as well? Suddenly, I don't have any B daughters. I have A and AB daughters. So that won't work. So, so far we've shown that O would work and that AO would work. I assume, let's try, let's go back and again just guess and check. Let's try with B. And that 
seems to work too. I have A daughters and B daughters. So this problem really could get pretty complicated if we don't know the actual genotype of the mother. So I would say that the mother, for my answer, could be O, A, or B. And then the genotypes of the daughters would depend on the genotype of the mother.